Yachtsmen, boat builders and designers, and anyone interested in boating history owe themselves a visit to the Harrishoff Museum in Bristol, Rhode Island. The museum is filled with wooden boats and artifacts that pay tribute to the Harrishoff legacy, particularly the contributions of Nathaniel Green Harrishoff, widely considered the most influential boat designer in modern history. Nathaniel's genius is celebrated at the museum and lives on through his grandson and naval architect, Halsey Harrishoff, who recently spoke to students from Maine's Landing School about how his grandfather went about the process of designing boats. Now you may be interested, uh, before I kind of cut you loose and tell you about some particular models, you may be interested in how my grandfather designed boats. He started out with a little sketch of the basic proportions and he'd write little tiny numbers in the corner of what the weight was going to be and maybe the sail area and all that. And then he would have the pattern shop of the Harrisoft Manufacturing Company. And those shops, as you perhaps know, were all on this street, and the big sheds for construction were down on the waterfront. When you go back to where I stood in the briefing, you'll see a model which uh, shows where, where those buildings were. So uh, from the pattern shop, he would get a nice block of white pine. And then uh, I'll show you in a minute in the workroom uh, how he set that up. And he would, with uh, first a drawing knife, and then chisels, and then uh, little tiny block planes shape the, uh, the model. And evidently, according to my uncles who watched him, he did this very quickly and decisively. He must have had in his mind just what the shape was going to be. For instance, this remarkable model for the uh, 1903 American Cup Defender, he produced a couple of evenings at Thanksgiving in 1902. And one of my uncles describes watching him where he just went right at it. And you'll notice in these models that have no putty or anything, he just went ahead and did it. And then they didn't bother to make a lines drawing because I'll show you in a minute in here how he took from the model the uh, dimensions. And those dimensions were simply um, heights and offsets at salient points on every frame space of the uh, boat. And these numbers were written into a book. And the book went directly to the shop. And from that, the shop made the uh, full-size molds. And most of the boats, all the wooden boats, were built upside down. So these molds are then set up on the floor. And then they would uh, steam bend the oak frames around them and do the yellow pine or cedar or whatever planking that went on there. And that's how the boats were built. They did make meticulous drawings of the construction and interior, and there were lots of drawings of the details. All those drawings are very carefully and well uh, conserved at uh, MIT in Cambridge, Mass. But we have access to them and can use them. And then uh, Captain Nett's further process was he had uh, complete control of all the construction. He would walk up from his house, Love Rocks, twice a day and go around all the shops. And if he saw something he wanted to change, he'd take out a little stubby pencil and ask the foreman to come over and he'd make a little sketch of what he wanted. And then when he came back in the afternoon, that would all be done. And my father told me that in the heyday, they could uh, design a new, they could think up a new fitting in the morning, make the drawing of it in the drafting room, uh, have the pattern shop make the pattern by noontime, uh, cast the bronze using that pattern during the noon hour, send the finished piece through the machine shop to be cleaned up and drilled, and then fasten down the boat the same afternoon. So this shop was not only um, a place where they built uh, great products, but it was very efficient, very quick. And where he had complete control from this little piece of paper to sell him a boat, uh, he could see what worked the best and what might not have worked so well, and while he was going through that process, he was designing other boats.